Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Well, we're looking at the uh, latest satellite and radar of Francine, and we're looking at some of the wind gusts, too. You know, it's far from land, but it's uh, already having some impact here in the form of uh, rain bands and wind gusts to about 20 to 30 miles an hour on Brownsville and Corpus Christi. And those winds are going to be increasing as the uh, winds around the center will be increasing today as this uh, strengthens. It's over some very warm water, so it is forecast to strengthen and eventually become a hurricane. That might not happen today, the hurricane part. It could, but I think it's going to happen in the next 24 hours and then look at that it could be a category 2 hurricane working its way up here and pushing that water up into these uh, shallow areas just southwest of Morgan City so that'll be you know winds of 100 miles an hour sustained that is pretty rough and it'll create a high storm surge too but then it moves north and quickly uh, weakens and becomes a rainmaker in a depression but uh, you know they need the rain up there so hopefully that'll be a good thing for them Tennessee parts of uh, Mississippi and Arkansas now here it is looking at the rainfall and the winds together so these rain bands will make it way on the land today during the day. The center still to the southwest, but just north of that center will be some of the heaviest rain. That'll be coming in on Wednesday to Louisiana along with those strong winds. And it looks like Baton Rouge is going to be impacted by this. It may take a direct impact as it moves through there and then moves up into uh, possibly Mississippi. This is our model, by the way. I think this is a little east of the uh, latest track, but just a little bit east of there. And so uh, look at that heavy rain just takes over. How about us? Do we get anything? Maybe enough moisture for an isolated shower on Friday, but that's it. Not much, not much impact. So uh, tropical outlook, there's a couple of features over in the eastern Atlantic that have a medium to high chance of formation. And these, uh, if they did form, would probably stay out to sea, but it's not a guarantee, so we'll keep a close eye on those. Meanwhile, let's enjoy the nice weather. High pressure in control, a little cool front might skim us, but it's, it's just going to reinforce the uh, mild dry air that's in place. So temperatures are going to heat up fast. We're going to be in the 70s by midday, and then we'll be in the low 80s this afternoon. And, um, you know, it, it feels good because it's so dry outside. If it was humid, I'd say, well, it's, you know, warm and muggy, but it's not. It's nice and dry for the next couple of days. Humidity starts going up, though, between Thursday and Friday. So even though, yeah, it's near 80 Friday and Saturday, it's going to feel pretty muggy. How bad? Well, not terrible, but I mean, the dew point will be above 65. And that's actually kind of normal for this time of year to get dew points in the low to mid 60s. But uh, if it gets any higher than that, I would call it uh, unseasonably muggy, but I don't think it will be. Super down for 10. There's no rain around today. We got lots of sunshine between now and noon, mostly sunny. We'll have that northeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. And there's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We got light northeast winds, lots of sunshine, gorgeous weather. Good weather at the 6 o'clock hour for the evening commute. Overnight, light and variable winds, clear skies. And then tomorrow, we got lots of sunshine again, light northeast winds, but I think they'll be a little bit more easterly. Won't really have much of an impact on our weather other than maybe it'll let us warm up by another degree or two. So today, 81 Virginia Beach in Norfolk, 82 in Portsmouth, 83 Elizabeth City, 77 in Killable Hills. Lots of sunshine. 77 Melfa, 79 Hampton, 80 in Gloucester, 82 Newport News. Any boaters out there today, light northeast winds, pretty calm on the water. The bay temperature now 75 degrees. Seven day forecast, 83 tomorrow and Thursday, lots of sunshine. Friday, maybe an isolated shower to 80. That's really it for the seven day forecast. Not much rain. Uh, Saturday, that's good news for the football games, but you know, overall we still need some rainfall.